Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we have jumped planets. We're at Nexus Re right now, or Nexus Rai, whatever you want to call it. But we're in the Draconis Combine, and they do like us right now. Um, so let's have a look here where we are on the star map. So we jumped three systems. We came from over here, somewhere. Mm, meh. Altdorf, I think we were at. Were we? I uh, know we weren't. It was 28 days away. 25 days? Capra? Well, I don't remember where we were. We were over here somewhere. Old Smith? No. Juan? No. I don't know. We were here somewhere. Igualda? Igualada? So I don't know where we were. Somewhere over here. Anyway, we jumped to the system with the uh, um, flashpoint on it because I want to try and take this flashpoint today. Um, it's a good one. I think it's like three and a half skulls. So it's plenty enough for, enough for us to do. I know we said we weren't going to take it because based on what happened the last time. Um, but I think we want to try this. We've got some good stuff now. So I think we're in shape for this particular one. Um, and not much has really changed in the barracks. Let's have a look. Um, so Saint has finally got uh, the Warlord ability, which is great. And a Rhino. No, not Rhino. Uh, Hellcat, I believe. Yes, it's got their gunnery skill to 9, which is awesome. Uh, and Steve is still Steve. Uh, we're still working our way up here. Um, but that's about it. I haven't advanced the, uh, the second Lance at all. Uh, Skill-wise, just to save a little bit of money, but not much, but a little bit, every uh, um, financial report. So we've got the Orion fixed up. Now, I was going to put together a new Hunchback, but I decided against that and went with the Orion. Now, the Orion, we can't really see because it's in the mech bay right now. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting the mask system in there with a 340 engine to give it a bit of speed, and then we put um, a couple of snub nose PPCs, one on each arm with some arm mounts, to give it some accuracy and a flamer in each arm. Um, it's also got the um, head uh, ECM target, like basically the head ECM, uh, which gives it um, four um, ECM points. So this guy is designed for basically a, as a close-in fighter to disrupt enemy targeting. Um, that's basically what it's designed for as a support for a melee mech or something. Um, but it's got seven days to come back, so we'll see that when it comes back. But let's take this flashpoint right now. Um, I did pull off a couple of missions in between episodes just in order to, so we had enough sea bills uh, to survive. We got enough for another month here, so we're pretty good. It was just basically low level stuff. We did pick up, um, I won't show you, but we picked up another TSEM cannon as one piece of salvage and I think an enforcer part. Um, a couple of minor things wasn't really big, but we did have one choice, and I did t choose a T-Semp cannon again, so we've got that back in to our uh, inventory, which is good. So let's take this flashpoint. Um, it's a very short flashpoint, uh, no consecutive deployments, which is good. Bonus reward, rare items. Let's see how rare that is. And there's no restriction, tonnage requirement, so we've got a three and a half skull mission, which I think is perfect for us. So let's begin this. Headhunting. New Valis. Well, it's not really New Valis, but whatever. So it's basically mm, the same one. It's just on a different planet. So, um, Flak Jackals have been preying on Davian ships in the edge of the frontier. Well, that's us going to be taking care of that problem, I would assume. Uh, eliminate both of them, I think. So it's a battle followed by an assassination contract on on one out of two possible targets. Okay. So where's the twist? I mean, we're assuming you didn't pull me out of a mech base so I could listen to a lecture about standard assassination contract. Probably not, no. Oh, pulse razors and golf rifles, eh? The jackals... Flak jackals have hit, have hit claim that the jackals are running a non-standard mech configurations... Damage they've inflicted on Davian structures and vehicles consists mostly of lost tech weaponry, pulse lasers, and gauss rifles, mostly. Mostly. Huh? Is that a big enough twist? Meh. Yeah, so. You have my undivided attention. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. 
going to the Federated Suns when the job's over. Yeah, we. Uh, that's fine. We'll just have to hit them and take it back. Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, waiting for you. Looking over, suited up, and then we'll get a show on the road. All right, man. Just don't chatter on the comms while we're down there fighting, dude. That's all I gotta say. I know you're. Uh, you serve a vital, a vital uh, mission importance, but that's fine. All right. Descend on the flak jackals and punch the hole in their lines. Make them pay for the Federation citizens they've killed. It's imperative that this pirate filth learn the cost of crossing the Federated Sons. Well, we've crossed them several times, and we're going to double-cross them after this anyway, so that's fine. Uh, let's go full salvage, because damn. Except this. And we've got our lance already in position here, I think. The catapult is back with LRMs, but I don't think we need that in this particular mission. Uh, Jager mech. You know what? Let's pull out the bushwhacker. Uh, and let's bring the Jager mech. Um, I'm liking this long range overheating shies going on. It's kind of cool. Uh, so let's bring that in um, and have some fun with that in this particular mission. Three and a half skulls. Let's see what we can overheat and take down. So let's deploy this and get it done. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Guys are vicious and well armed. They're used to going after soft targets. Show them what a real mercenary can company can do. C -c -c company. Stay frosty. Wow, that's a great joke. Alright. So we got our main guy here. Probably spit out sped out spread out in a semicircle and maybe reinforcements mm. sure looks like it um stand in by farg them ready for orders confirm you want to play the game you guys want to play a game? We can play a game. We can play kill the guys that are supposed to shoot us in the back. That's the game we can play today. Light missile carrier. Cement mixer. I think this guy is most likely the threat. Most likely. Well, at least it's tagged. I'm here. Let's put some heavy firepower on that guy, please. As heavy as you got. I don't got a lot of heavy, but heavy enough. Would have been nice to have the crap of pulled in this one, but we're okay. That's the cement mixture, I would imagine. You go ahead and fire away on that Wolverine. Good luck with that. He's running away. So the reason why we take these guys from back here first, obviously, is you don't want guys shooting you from behind. But the other reason is, is we've got big mountains here. Right here and here. Good protection from the other guys. Don't think these mechs were expecting us. They were never expecting the Spanish Inquisition. Ah, shit. You got to go. Ah, well. I think those are MRMs. Which is probably a good thing because, uh. Wow, they hit My armor's getting stripped off. the person in the woods with more chevrons of evasion better than the guy standing in the open. Yeah, let's get rid of that friggin' missile launcher, please. Let's take care of this thing. Nice. So they all they were all most of them were rocket launchers, so it's not so bad. That's the reinforcements. They got one more guy somewhere. Where's the other reinforcement guy? Oh there you are. The Welkin. He was probably 
sensor hidden or I'm just blind as hell. Most likely I'm blind. Because that's how I roll. These guys are probably heavies. Because they ain't moving very fast. And it looked like... Just going to say it looked like, so I don't know if it is true or not. That mech that was standing in the open when we first started looked like an Annihilator. I could be completely wrong, but it sure as hell looked like one. That's just missiles. Uh, just MRMs. We got to get past these hills. We will in a second here. So, crab, M uh, MMLs. Good to go. Good to go. That puts this the cement cement mixer at our rear. I don't want that. So let's move into here. We've got Warlord. Does that apply to melee damage as well? Okay, hang on a second. Before we melee, I want to just mention something too. Um, so, uh, Fist of Dorn has been communicating to me about um, melee damage. If you check out episode 98 of Cold Forged, um, Apparently how, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't checked this out, so don't quote me 100% on this and don't quote him, but apparently how you load the weapons onto the mech makes a difference in the final outcome of the melee damage. Uh, so I've got 127 on this guy, so I think I'm going to try, we've got 127 here, um, I'm going to try and... Um, Figure out if we can get a higher melee damage on this guy after. I'm going to try and remember to do that. Um, I'm interested to see how that works. Because I thought it would just add up everything and then just do the multipliers at the end. But apparently, stuff that adds bonus damage only should be added first. Then stuff that adds bonus damage and percent melee damage should be added second. And then stuff that adds just percentage melee damage should be added third. Um, and apparently it's got something to do with the order it gets added to the mech. Um, don't quote me on it, don't quote him on it, but that is apparently how it works. So we're going to find out, I think, soon enough. Uh, let's dump it onto this guy. Just screw him. Some nice heat on this guy. I'm liking this Jager mech's loadout now. So much better than the original. Alright, let's make sure we get into the woods if we can. Please and thank you. Now, I don't know how tough this cement mixer is. How? What are we looking at for the armor on this guy? We have no idea. Um, but it looks like it's a fair bit. So uh, let's take the catapult out if we can. Headshot. Give me a headshot, someone. Nah. We had the chance to uh, take another VSPL laser, and I decided against it. I took the TSEMP cannon because that was one of the things that we lost earlier. Oh, okay. Well, that guy's done. Leaving Steve out here to hang, hanging him out to dry here. So I never have in the past talked about where the idea of Funky Steve came from. Now, um, the reason why I'm mentioning it right now is because uh, I'm just pre-recording a bunch of these episodes this week. I'm off today because of the ice storm we have here in southern Ontario. So I'm going to pre-record pre a bunch of these episodes today uh, because Valentine's Day is coming up in two days and my wife and I are going to be going out so I won't be able to record that night. So, uh, I apologize for that. Well, actually, I don't because we're going to be going out. It's my wife, and that's it, right? So, but the other thing is, is that the 14th of February is my second birthday. I've mentioned this on the Night Witches, uh, one of my Night Witches episodes. That's going to be out in a couple of days. But, um, yeah, my mom brought me home from the hospital that day. Uh, I was adopted, so that's kind of my second unofficial birthday, um, coming home from the hospital. So... 
Uh, that's the day I generally take as a birthday and a relaxed day and all that stuff. Um, thanks, Mom, wherever you ended up after you passed away. I thank you so much for a great life. But anyway, that being said, uh, Funky Steve is actually comes from my brother. Um, he, I still have, I still remember this day like it was yesterday. We were, um, I was coming home from school one day, and him and his friend were in the driveway, and they had cardboard laid out on the ground. And I don't know if how old all you guys are, but if you ever remember when the break dance phase first took off, um, my brother was. He, I was into heavy metal at that moment, and he decided that he liked um, uh, the idea of getting into breakdance. Now I don't know how much he liked the music, but he liked because he was he was into heavy metal too at the time. But he uh, got, got the idea of um, getting him and his friend got the idea of getting into breakdance, right? So they had this cardboard on the front driveway, and they had their his big radio that he had, his portable radio. Um, and they were out on the front driveway attempting to break dance, and it was the most hilarious. Is the most hilarious thing. Anyway, that's where Funky Steve comes from. It was my brother, right? My brother's passed away now. Um, he had a pretty bad life, and I won't go into any of that. But um, just because of uh, genetic physical disabilities that he had had, um, that he gained after, that sort of manifested themselves after this period in his life. But uh, that's kind of where I remember him from. Those early days with. Uh, the idea of Funky Steve, so um, yeah, that's uh, kind of where it comes from. Anyway, that's yeah, that's that story. <laughs> and this vehicle is still alive. This is the toughest freaking cement mixer I've ever seen in my life. Whoop. What do we got here? How's this guy doing? Boomstick fluid gun tagger. Alright, he's almost gone. Ready for orders. Uh, do we step on him? Or do we go after this Vulcan? I think we step on the cement mixer. On the move. Let's try and kill this guy. So, squash, thank you. So I'm looking forward to finding out if that is actually true about the Wolverine, if we can get that damage higher. Vehicle down. It would just mean pulling the stuff off and then putting it back on one at a time. So Hatchetman and a Crab on that side. Ooh, we got parts for Hatchetman. I know we got really heavy mechs right now, but uh, it might be worth putting together a uh, medium last with a hatchetman. Let's uh, destroy this guy. Pain. You have elected the way of pain. Try and attack me from behind. Look at this guy. Thanks for coming out. So I'm not sure those, I don't think those are rocket launchers, I think those are missiles. It could be a catapult, crapapult that I can't see, something that I can't see. Um, uh, let's go after this guy. And apparently we're going to attack him from this side because we can't get him from anywhere else, so let's attack him. Let's hopefully kick him in the head. Targeting for physical attack. Uh, we'll take the right torso, that's fine. Well, right arm, right torso. Bam, you're dead. Not having a good day. Alright, there's no point in actually going after these guys because we don't have to just yet. We will shortly. These guys are going to have short work made of them. They have barely any armor at all. So, a Rhino. What do you think, girl? Did we go out and get these guys? I know what your answer to that is. Not yet. Let's see if we can kill this crab. Uh, we're just gonna fire. Ah. All right, Steve. We got eyes. We can. I know I'm kind of putting myself out here, doing this. But I want to remove some of the threat here, so let's get rid of this guy. Well, I'll do really heavy damage to him. I bet you we hit, uh, 
Yeah, oh, okay. I was going to say center torso, arm, and, or sorry, right torso, left torso, sorry, left arm, left leg, but we got the, C we got the CT arm, so that's good, and I have no idea what that guy is. Commander? Okay, cat, uh, let's get out here. The one thing that we know is that crabs hate heat. Oh. Barbarian. Uh, that looks like a melee mech to me. We're gonna shoot the crab. Simply because it's almost gone. Critical hit, Commander. That barbarian's a melee mech though. We gotta kill him fast. And with the name, I'm guessing it is, so... Get into here. Oh, let's blast him. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Oh, you missed. So glad that VSBL is doing four damage. Most likely this is a melee mech. All kinds of protection, like a shield and stuff. That's that crab. Giving an appropriate response. Although it could be, no, it could be the hatchetman. With, yeah, it's the hatchetman with an ultra. Here he comes. So we want to try and save as much of that guy we can, as we can that is. Um, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do. Let's get on this guy. Now is that an Axeman model? It is. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? Alright, just firing on him. On nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Well, at least you got good initiative next turn. Comes to Crabbo. So we have no idea if they have another guy back here. Steve hasn't gone yet. Um, Hmm, I think we're going to move to here. I think that Axeman's got at least one more turn. This is a lot of trees to get through. But this guy's a little closer, and let's hammer him. Wow, only one hit. Only one hit. Really. Hmm, our initiative dropped this turn. Yeah, he didn't have quite the range. So that's an MRM launcher he's got on him. So that was probably the guy that we saw back there. Ready for orders. Oh, God, now what do we do? Got a hatchetman coming in. Let's move back here. Aye, aye. Give that hatchetman more room to go over. And let's blast the crap out of this guy. It's a good thing that, um, I can't believe we missed with the Thunderbolt, but it's a good thing that uh, these guys have reduced armor. Ah, uh, come on, don't destroy all the melee stuff. We need some of those things. Yeah, I'll be shutting you up in a second, buddy. That's the standard crab. I thought that was the AC5 crab. Yeah. Order. Whatever. Whatevs. Uh, we're gonna go from the. S is that the back? That's still the back, eh? Well, lucky us. We want the back of the side. Very little. It's got little armor anywhere you go. Let's get this guy gone. I can't have him melee next turn. He's fast, he's heavily armored. 99, so that's still pretty darn good. Okay. Those are good numbers. This guy's in capability of mailing. Even if we ran, he has the capability of mailing us from pretty much anywhere. 
Enjoy that heat, buddy. That hit something good. Yeah, he's got to take the four PPCs, and then we got to hopefully kill this hatchetman. Well, it's not getting that close. It's probably got one more turn of running to go. Not that fast. Just got into the woods, so he's not going to make it all the way through the woods, I don't think, to come after us. And I'm going to use the Mjolnir to shield these other guys, I think. Let them let them go after the Mjolnir. Because I'm a good boss. And we'll fire everything. Warlorded. Just fire on this guy. There we go. I was kind of inter just interested... Oh, they got another guy back here. Chiquita. Uh, I was interested to see how much damage that guy could actually do. But I wasn't that interested in seeing that. <laughs> I didn't want to give him the, the opportunity to show us. So uh, let's hammer this guy. It's too bad they don't have... Um... Putting my weight into it. Okay, there's the leg, so he can't move that much. Uh, they don't... In uh, wow. There you go. That was probably the best outcome that could have happened for that mech. To max out salvage, that is. Otherwise, we would have pretty much destroyed too much. I'm here. Uh, what was I saying now? Um, oh, yeah, the charging from Battletech. I expected to see that in the game. I mean, you can melee if you're standing next to somebody, but running and just hitting them and knocking them over. Because we used to charge a lot in Battletech. Yeah, that guy's overheating. Oh, head hit, too. Nice. Nice. That cicada's taking an awfully long time getting up here. That's the medium, whatever the periphery rifle version of the medium rifle. I'm shocked that these guys haven't uh, any of the weapons that they stole. They could have used them here. All right, let's push this last guy. He's got to go. Like I said, this could have been a very different battle if they had uh, mechs that had any kind of armor. That barbarian itself would have been very, very dangerous. Now that I know what it is, so when I hopefully if I see it in the future, I'll be able to at least. Uh... Oh, I was thinking I was moving the uh, Jager mech here. Um, I'll be able to. Uh... Identify it early and kill it from a distance before it gets too close. It was pretty quick. I got to say though it moved through, the, through that forest pretty damn fast So maybe we pick up a mask or something off of that guy So this is a laser machine gun version looks like our periphery rifle version whatever it is Reporting critical hit. Nicely done It's running away Commander. He's running away, Hellcat. Quick step in it. Let's not give him anywhere to go to, though. Play it like a chessboard. Aye, aye. Not that this guy's a king in any way, but still, it's the last guy we gotta kill. Sorry, I'm just making the missile go faster. Alright, let's get as close as we can. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. We don't need to move very far, just gonna walk it up. Force him to come out. Here it comes. Yeah man. <laughs> I like them apples. Someone's getting a head stomp. Yep, we got enough for the head stomp. Let's move over here and attack. Got it. Yeah, so charging would have been interesting in the game. There we go. Not much to these pirates. Target. Eliminated. Mission successful. All right. 86,000 payout for us, 218 we made, which is not that bad. I mean, we didn't, we're not going to be paying that in, in, uh, sea bills for damage, but that's a lot of damage on the arm. 
That was missile fire, I believe. Um, tons of catapult parts. We want another catapult. We got lots of them. Two ballistic, four missile, four laser points. That was the one we wanted last time, but never got. But hatchetman. Now we do have hatchetman parts. Don't know how many because it's a different variation of this hatchetman. Boomstick, ELRM 15, light AC5s. I don't think there's really MRM 30, which we have already. No, we don't have a 30 yet. Ultra 10. Meh. We call a 3. Compact heat sink, compact heat sink kit. Endo, XL gyro. Double heat sink kit. Leg boots. Hmm. I'm thinking we're going for mech parts, guys. I know I don't do it in my other uh, series, but this one we do. Pirates. Uh, uh, let's go with the catapult parts, man. I know we talked. Well, do we want a hatchetman, though? It's something I haven't seen or used. So let's do that. I know it sounds counterproductive, but let's do it. I haven't seen, I haven't got the hatchetman yet at all yet. Uh, I haven't had the ability to play with one yet. So let's just grab these and hopefully we can pick it up. We got it. I know. I think we got three parts in storage, but we might have more. Let's find out. All right, one, two, three catapult parts. We might have another catapult. I'm not sure yet. Crab. Uh, we got the one, two, three, four, five hatchetman parts. Six hatchetman parts. Okay, cool. So I think we should have a hatchetman now. I think we have. We think we had three, and then junk. Okay. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. There it is. The hatchetman. LBA ten. Nice. Medium pulse lasers. So we got a good chance of getting some half decent stuff on this guy. And we did get a catapult, 21C, nice. Extended LRM 15s. Two light PPCs. That's the one we wanted last time, but never got. All right, cool. 59,000 in repairs, which I kind of expected after we took a heavy arm hit on the meal near. Head hunting part two. Should we get his siblings attention? Nothing will. You have eyes on our targets, Mayor. Roger that. They've split up. Orchid Zhao has taken their, her lance northward, and her brother Dominic is on his way to the far east. There are a couple dozen opportunistic mercenary companies right on our heels, looking to pick up a piece of the action. There's no way to be. We're going to be able to take out both siblings, but we're going to have to make a choice. Or which one is the worst two? Ghost rifles or pulse lasers? Um, choosing who will live and who will die, Yang. It isn't a callous to reduce the decision to a matter of salvage. No, it is a matter of salvage, and we're not choosing who will live and who will die because the other mercenaries are going to go after the other guys and kill them, so they all die. And if it's not us, it's somebody else. I mean, sure, I guess, but they, let's be real. Zell's siblings are both terrible people from a co uh, cosmic justice standpoint. They're pretty interchangeable as far as I'm concerned. Come on, Yang, with this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thresher Zhao or a Whistler Zhao I'm um, just trying to think of which one would be easier to kill Goss Rifles seem like they're a problem um, wait Dominic's got the Goss Rifle so let's go after Orchid double heat sinks and pulse lasers doesn't really matter which one. I think I mean they'll hit more often, but they'll but the Gauss rifle has a chance to take a head right off, so let's go this route. The brawler it is. She won't know what hit her. Let's go after that. Okay, so let's get repaired. Um Argo. And let's manage our tasks a little bit here. So Mjolnir we need back. So let's move you up to the top. And yep. Yep. Let's do... Well, we don't... I don't know if we want to use the Jager mech for this one. You know what? Let's go this route. 
so let's do let's get the Orion back we get a chance to see what that's like all right there we go oh, we need the Wolverine too so six days uh, we always pass in the game remember you do not put yourself in an opportunity to take from your crew members all right let's get this Wolverine back now I know we said we were gonna check out the melee damage so let's I don't know if we've got time to do that but let's just see if we do so we had 127 on the ground now uh, let's have a look so here's the hatchy ferrofibrous looks like everything's wrecked in here a couple of compact heat sinks XL gyro okay catapult 21 uh, C21 double heat sink kit we get XL engine we get mm, upper arm yay yeah heavy jump jet okay so the Orion let's have a look really quick at it so you guys can see what's what we're gonna be running here when we get to the ground so the Orion uh, is designed as a slugger I think and we've got the NSS in the armored sheath beacon gives us evasion pips increased sensor increased sight range plus two initiative initiative and an ECM bubble jamming um, enemies and protecting us in close. So this is going to be helping out the Wolverine, my hope is. I've got a C3 Slavin right now. We're planning on getting a 3C Master System going on everybody to help everybody out. Uh, but right now, I just put this in just so we know we have it here. Um, we've got the mask in and the missile defense with the AMS. Uh, I didn't put on the one that uh, defends Lance Mates. I just put this one on because it's going to be too far away, I think, from Lance Mates. But it was a little heavier too, so... This one, at least it'll defend itself as it's moving in closer. 300 engines, not that bad. TTS energy to help with the snub nopes, PPCs, and we got weapon mounts as well. And an exchanger just to help out with heat. We're doing pretty well heat-wise. Uh, 69 over 62, which is pretty good. And a couple flamers for close in, um, just to add some heat value. If we got the Jager mech running with this guy in the background, this guy will be doing a little more damage and also shutting mechs down. So those two can be paired off as well. So that's what this guy's running right now and let's have a look at the wolverine we'll pull a few things and put a few things back on let's see where are you here here we go so i don't know i don't remember how we did this last time so claws our additional base melee so these guys would go on f well the talons would go first right because they have just base damage so they would go on first and then the claws on each arm. And that's really all we have melee-wise. Um, uh, what's the T-Semp rated at right now? Maybe we can swap that out real quick. I don't know if we're going to have enough time before the financial report, but we're sitting okay, so I don't mind um, getting this guy up and running so we can check that out. So T-Semp is six tons. Yeah, that's right. We had to, we wanted to put the talons in, but we couldn't do it because we had the T-Semp in. So we have to leave that out, unfortunately, as much as I want to put it back in. Um, but do we have anything else that's half decent three tons? Do we have... We talked about putting a combat shield in, but I think that was in Rogue Tech Cold Forged. Um, I think it was. We don't think we have a combat shield yet. See, we have this the C3 Master here which we want to get in. It's two and a half tons, so we have to f do some finagling to do that. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's just do this real quick. I think we can do this. So let's confirm. Now, I don't, I'm don't. i not convinced this is going to give us anything any better than 127, but let's do the refit. I think it's, I think it's the way it begins to calculate it up and then locks it in at that point. Um, I could be completely wrong, but let's do this. Um, so talons starts with a T talons first and then claws second now I don't know if we need to like you know what I want to try and do here let's just do this let's go talons first confirm and save so it locks in a number so we got one day Okay, and then we go back in. So now it's kind of calculated the melee damage for the mech. 
I'm not convinced this is going to give us anything any better. But I could be completely wrong, and I don't know. It might have only been in the earlier versions. So it might not be in this version. Please, if you guys know, write it in the comment section down below. Also, check out um, uh, Fists of Dorne's explanation on episode 98 of uh, Rogue Tech Cold Forge. He kind of lays it out. So just go and check that out. See if that's uh, see if that's accurate. I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds like it's it's plausibly accurate. So we got the claws back in now. So let's confirm this. And let's wait the four days. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Alrighty. Now we can go in and clean up this last mission here. There we go. Okay. Flashpoint effort. And now, apparently, the results in the mech bay are like iffy, what it tells you. So let's just get down here and finish this up. Um. So let's continue, and let's go after Orchid, Thresher, Zhao. Two, three and a half skulls, Puller, one of the two leaders of the Flag Jackals. Her personal battle mech is equipped with Lost Tech weaponry and equipment. Orchid is a brawler, she likes to get in close, and her mech is equipped to facilitate that. Engage from range if possible. Um, okay. Full salvage, of course, because damn. Engaging from range. Now, do we shut her down? No. We wanted to bring in, uh, let's get Hellcat in the, uh, Orion. We probably shouldn't be getting in close to her. Um, we will want to run the Orion because we want to check it out. I mean, the other thing, too, is to swap it out for the Victor and leave the Jager mech in and hope for over, overheats on her. Yeah, I mean, the Orion does have those two um, snub-nosed PPCs for good damage. Let's try it. Let's try it this way. I think the Jager mech shutting down a melee mech with two flamers here to help out. And then our Wolverine pummeling the crap out of it. Plus the Mjolnir hitting it with PPCs will probably be more than enough to take it down. But let's try this loadout and see how it goes. Yeah, you always say that, but I think we'll be fine. Alright guys, here we go. Looks like we got her and maybe two other lances. What is that? It's a dot of something or other. I have no idea. I'm sure someone's screaming. It's... I don't know what it is. Um, if I were planning an ambush, this is where I put it. God, you're always the voice of wisdom here. I'm um, thinking that we're going to hammer these guys first. This is too long of a journey to engage and gives these guys more time. I think we can make this distance in a shorter period of time and engage them and crush them before these guys are able to fully engage. So we're going to attempt to do it that way, I think. I don't want to be facing nine guys at once. So let's do that. Okay. Full speed, please. We gotta take these guys down first. I think before we get to the main main mech. Yeah, check the speed out in this Orion, man. Talk about support for the uh, Wolverine. There it is, folks. With that mass system on there, that's crazy. It's 38. Oh, we meant to check out the uh, damage on the... Uh, I'm sure you guys saw it. I gotta check the damage out on the Wolverine here. Okay, got a blip here. Ready for orders. Oh, 
Of course, it's a fucking no dachi. What else would it be? Hatchetman and a stalker. Ah, oh, Christ. We don't want to close with these guys. We do not want to close with these guys. Roger. Looks like they got full armor too. Yep. I'm starting to question whether or not I brought enough firepower here. And of course it's a barbarian, because why what else would it be? <laughs> I should against I should have went against the Goss rifles now. <laughs> oh this is gonna be painful. Uh there's no way Oh yeah, we got one sixty five. He was right. He was totally right. Thank you, Fists of Dorn. We got a nice, huge boost in melee damage here. Let's get over here. Confirm. It does totally depend on which which uh, way you put those on there. Myrmidon. I wonder if it would have been better to go on that side, but there's not much we can do about it now. There's that fucking barbarian right here. He's got to die fast. Fire fists and an MRM. So I don't know. He's got a lot of melee stuff on him too. And a lot of damage reduction stuff. Once he gets into sight range, we should probably be able to take care of him a little easier. Yeah. That's the accuracy of those MRMs for you. I'm assuming he's got MRMs, yeah. That's a scary freaking mech. The Stalker over time could be scary too, but that Nodachi is definitely the scariest one right now. The Barbarian too, I have no idea what it's going to hit for, so... Think it, we may have we should have brought the victor just for that big 100 pinpoint damage. So we have to be close to get the 70s from the uh, Orion. Uh, do we go after the barbarian? I got a feeling. That's what we should be hitting, but this Nodachi I think is up is giving us a prime target. Let's strip some armor off him. Cataphract. Go after the melee mechs, they said. It'll be easier, that you said. Yeah. My team's hating me right now. And I don't blame them. I hate me too. Although it did seem the sensible thing, you know, medium pulse lasers, and her mech was tricked out, supposedly. Not everybody's. Yes, the hell? Um, yes, this guy's moved. Which puts this guy in prime uh, death range. Let's do it. Confirmed. We gotta start making progress here fast, so we gotta do this. Putting my weight into it. Left leg gone. Okay, we tagged him and narked him. It's gonna fuck him up for a bit. Pardon my language. He's got a thousand armor. Commander. We only melee for 38. Can't be in hatchetman range either. And I can't be in the open. And I can't not sprint. Oh.
That's not a killing blow, though, I don't think, on this Barbarian. You know what we do? Reserve. We need to see what kind of toll we're going to take on these guys. This guy's mitigate. Oh, he's still got a little bit of heat on him, but not much. The Agar mech was not the choice. We should have cycled out the Agar mech, I think. Now, if that, uh, if this guy wasn't here, I'd be shooting on the uh, Stalker. How much has this guy got left CT? Still a fair bit, but that's a job for the Mjolnir. Uh, this guy, heating-wise, he's going to be milling though, so it doesn't really matter. The Barbarian's the job for the Mjolnir. This is the job. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not shut down. Okay, we have a chance to shut him down, though. Which is good. I think I want to give the Orion up to that uh, Barbarian. Got a sensor lock on me. Yeah, I know. Got a sensor lock on everybody soon enough. Um, we're going to get hit by a melee attack no matter what we do here. I think... Um, We won't from here, though, because he's not going to be able to get up here. Doing it now, because we got to max out everything on this guy. So let's do this. Okay. I wish we had pirate snub noses that we could drop on the uh, Orion. And we could drop some melee gear on him as well. I just really hope our Wolverine goes before this uh, Barbarian does. Receiving you. This puts us in hatchetman range. Well, it's better against us than the Wolverine. Um, so, B is going to get the Flamers. Hoping for an overheat on them. I copy. Okay, good. That's a huge bonus for us right there. That was very lucky. Very, very lucky. Comes the Stalker for a weak-ass melee attack. I don't know what that was, like 18 or something? Sucks not having arms, doesn't it, buddy? This guy can just turn himself on now. Yes, we get to go first. Now... She's way back there. Uh, wish we had Phantom Mech at this moment. This guy will most likely die this turn. Or do I finish him now? I'm more afraid of this guy. I think we faced a Barbarian once before. 165 on this guy though. I think we need to take this because we need the we need the evasion pips. Let's do it this way. Um, 
That's the best that's best chances to hit and everything. So let's do this. Um, maybe we could take this hatchet arm and then we can not have to worry so much about melee damage. Right leg. Not what we wanted. Okay. Okay, he's not meleeing. That's a bonus. Which means we can fire on the Nodachi this turn. Where's he going, though? He's backing up. Okay, he's playing the melee. He's playing the uh, missile game. That's fine with us. We're gonna ignore him. Ignore him. If they pushed, they could do some hella damage against us. I don't want to get too close with the Jaeger. Um, let's move back here. Give us a better chance to hit, firing on this guy. Looks like we got one CT hit. Uh, Rhino. Can't walk into those woods, eh? The mask system is great, but not that great. Let's make sure our back is to the wall here. Um... We're out of uh, resolve right now. That might do it. Nope. He's dropping a load in his pants though. 63 left in the CT. Damage minimal. <sighs> Guns off the field. Guns off the field. We're going to split our shots. And... Yeah, it's 99 both ways, so let's do this. I gotta put two PPCs on this guy. Oh, I was hoping we would actually hit the CT there. You just turned your back to a guy with two snub nose PPCs? Sure, man. I want to get a couple of PPC double pluses. Not happy with these uh, snub noses. Ooh, there's a shutdown target for next turn. That's our way. Still got these two guys to go. Most likely he's going to melee. Are you serious? Dude, man, thank you. Trying to get in the woods. Uh, something seriously wrong with the AI here. These guys should have carved me into sliced turkey at this point. But that's fine. I mean, I'm not arguing. I'm just saying. Commander. I am just saying that we are not winning this match. They are losing it. Kind of like the Japanese at Midway. This is their battle to lose. Good.
Okay. There's a start. Alright, now they're starting to hack. Oh, he missed! Oh, he missed! Like I said, it's their battle to lose. Copy that. Let's shut this guy down. Firing everything. Man, we only hit with two of those. Is that enough though? It is. Sucks to be you. I don't think Rhino can get out of there. They don't have quite the firepower to be able to... Uh, Yeah, well, not the best move in the world, but we are going to take it. Warlord, back shot. Um, okay. Now, were those both in the CT? That's what I want to know. Everything was in the CT, except for an arm hit here. That was one of the PPCs. If we hit them both, we would have destroyed them. Close, but no cigar. Alright, Steve. Uh, let's remove this guy as a threat. We won't be able to kill the Barbarian, so that's why I'm going after him. Enemy mech Barbarian's got damage reduction to a variety of other things, so we needed to definitely take that guy out of the equation. I know he couldn't move fast, but still. Damage minimal. It's nice having that Orion in beside the Wolverine with the... Uh, ECM that's giving us a four uh, um, evasion bubble. It's helping them both out, right? So I don't know what that's going to mean. Um, we've got enough for another vigilance. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the vigilance is because I, I, I want to get ahead of this barbarian for damn sure. So let's attack him from behind. Don't know if the Warlord's going to affect our melee attack. Uh, doesn't seem like it is. That's okay. Copy that. That looked like that penetrated, but I wasn't sure. Okay, he's tagged and narked. Sorry, and e EMP'd. Okay, cool. He's taking significant hits here, so... By. This is the wrong mech to be using on him. Yeah, uh, man. Roger. Let's try and shut this guy up. One thing about stalkers is they overheat too ridiculously fast. Like that. As long as we can hit him, he's out of battle. I think we're going to run a racy ammo though, so keep my eye on that. I think I need to put a few more double loads in there. Uh, Rhino, we need to finish up this uh, guy right here. Let's do this, please, and thank you. No, damn it. Oh, I take it back. Thank you. Okay, Lance 1 is almost down. The three melee mechs that I was terrified of did not hit with any melee attacks. Well, they only had one melee attack in total, but still missed with it. Uh, we're not going to leave here, Steve, until this uh, guy is gone. So let's just not move. 
And we're going to go for a headshot, see if we can take it clean. Oh, we can't take it clean off. It's got too much armor. 61. We got just a couple points less, but we're going to shoot for it anyway. Maybe we make him bail out. Or we just destroy the engine. That works too. Oh, ammo explosion. Okay. He's backing up now. So they got three vehicles on that side. So before we before we engage her, we're gonna pull back, sweep up this side. She's staying completely out of the battle, which is totally fine by me. Roger. I'm receiving you. Confirmed. So let's get around this side. Pot shot away, guys. It's not going to save your ass. Standing by. On my way. Double time. It's nice that we're minimizing damage against this, too. Didn't want to spend all that C bills that we were getting for this mission to uh, repairs. Keep it up, buddy. You get there eventually, or die trying. What's up, dude? Besides your besides your wheels flying through the air, or your hover unit flying through the air, he's still alive. What? <laughs> Way to divide up the shots, buddy. Make sure you spread it around. All sides need to be damaged before he blows up. Look at that. Look at it. Really? Thunderbolt. She's in a Thunderbolt. I thought she was supposed to be in a melee mech. Alright. Let's hit this guy. <clears throat> He's still alive. He's still alive. Really? <laughs> oh, come on. That's just not fair. I mean, he's not really a threat, but still, that's just not fair. Look at him. Look. Alright, finish him up. Oh, I better stop using those ACs. We're gonna need the ammo for the Thunderbolt. Just make sure we use the PPCs on the rest of these guys here. Uh, how can you... what's the fastest way? Uh, this is the more secure way. Let's go this way. Stay together. Stay under the Orion's ECM. Okay, he's in squash range. Yeah, so I think the best thing we can do is find some way to cr crank up the melee damage in this Orion as well. Don't have that much weight we can add, but if we can get like a 320 engine, maybe the 300. I don't know if it's going to be. We've got a 300, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. I mean, we're getting pretty good speed as it is now. That mask makes all the difference. Yes, Commander. Um, which one's more threatening? We have no idea. That's got 800 armor. This one's got 720. Let's go against the guy with more armor, please. Sure. Affirmative. Here it comes, folks. Three hundred damage. Damages. 
All right. Vehicle trash. Waiting for orders. So we got 18 rounds. We can't fire them. Uh, now let's stay in the trees. But we will pot shot with the lasers. I don't even think we should use these uh, ACs on the uh, cataphract here. I mean, cataphracts are good melee mechs too. If we can get a cataphract, we can melee it up a little bit. Um, look at the move on this guy. I mean, I hesitate to lower the engine to get more weight, but uh, if we have to do that, to add in some melee damage, we can do that. I think it needs some. It can't just be a roaming around ECM for the Wolverine. I mean, it could be, but it's kind of a waste of a mech that way. Okay, Steve, hammer him. There we go. Cataphract. We'll sweep up the cataphract and then kill that uh, thunderbolt and get out of here. Got it. Gonna get some stability back here before we move in. Standing by. You're fully stable, but let's move in anyway. Full speed. Moving at full throttle. I don't know what he's doing over there. Ready for orders. Roger that. We got stability, but we're not moving in without the rest of our guys here. Yeah, I'll just fire. He's brave, so there's no point in warlording it. We're just gonna pot shot him a bit here. A thunderbolt, man. She's leaving her troops out to out to dry here. Hanging them out to dry. Gonna stay in the open, get better chance to hit, and just fire on this guy. Wow, that's a pretty good chance to hit. Come on, let's finish this up, guys, and go home. Good to go. Let's start it up here. Um, uh, yeah, man. Okay, right arm, right torso. Nice shooting. Um, Waiting for orders. That's a walk. Look at that. It's awesome. No, it's Orion. Roger that. Come on, finish him up. Nope. Okay, lasers. Full speed, no target. No, we got a target right there for your lasers. Knocked down by a small laser. And then finished up by four PPCs. Well, at least that's a respectable death. You can say, ah, I died by getting, getting hit by four PPCs. Firing. All right, let's kill that thunderbolt and go home. Enemy I was panicked there at the beginning. I thought for sure we were going to get killed, but we're in a bad engagement zone here, though. We should we should uh, let's move forward, and engage up there. Don't need to crest the hill or do anything. We're just going to sit here until our other guys get close. So just brace. What's up, boss? Same thing. Just move up here and wait. Roger that. So I wonder if they'll ever do a mod that shows you what your ECM is doing to the enemy. It'd be nice to have like a toggle switch or a keybind that you can hit that will show you your point of view and their point of view so you know what your ECM is doing to them. Like I don't even know, like right now we're under ECM bubble here, right? I don't even know if this guy's got sensor lock on us. I mean I guess I know if they shoot at me, but... Okay, we're almost ready to crest this hill. Standing 
by. Get ready. Receiving you. Move order received. Okay. The yeah, Agromac hopefully can crest first. Get eyes on, then we melee. Oh, we got eyes on. That's a lot of medium pulse lasers. It's not going to save them, though. 1240. Commander. Let's not play to his strengths. Uh, shit, we can't get into the... All right, we'll do it this way. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. We don't have the melee range. We do have this range for tag and EMP and snub. Christ, this guy's going to be like a barbecue nightmare. Pulse lasers are good, unless you're fighting against guys that have overheating capability. Then they're completely useless. Good luck firing any of those pulse lasers now. And just because I'm a jerk... Ah, I tried to try for the headshot. Pew. You're gonna shut yourself down, are you? Hope you got lots of heat sinks. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Hope you got lots of heat sinks. Waiting for orders. Uh, side. Everything else will be hitting from the side, so let's do that. Okay, legged him. Legged her, I guess. Another pilot injury. Two of four. Standing by. Uh, you don't even need to move. Let's just target the head. Fire. Accuracy through volume of fire. So, oh, we got a head hit. Nice. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's just move in a little bit. I don't know if it'll give us a better chance to hit for the flamers, but probably. Go for that head. Whoop. Nope. Head, 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 head. Only head. Firing. Well, we took the torso, which would have taken her out, but head lethal damage is good, too. There it is, folks. Good is disbanded. Mission successful. So this was a really long episode of, uh, Funky Steve's, but we got a 20% increase in, in wages, which we'll need a good, not a good amount of this, but probably about 50 grand for repairs, most likely. We did take a few hits. I don't think it was really as bad as the last time, but we'll find out soon enough. Once again, Steve doing all the heavy hitting with the PPCs, and the Orion and the Wolverine setting everybody up. That was pretty darn good, I think. Okay, so... Barbarian pieces, cataract pieces, hatchet man piece, which we should probably take. No dachi pieces are better though. Oh my god, we got a no dachi. How do you like them apples, guys? 
So this was definitely worth going after. Doesn't look like there's any weaponry I really want. Uh, nothing amazing down here. Nothing that I'd say I, I need this before I need the uh, Nodachi, but uh, spike light boots are nice. Talons are better. Alright, so we're going this route, guys. So, one, two, three, four, five barbarian parts. A hatchetman part. The Nodachi we got. AC5, ER small, large, mediums. So we got some mech building to do in the next little while. So I am definitely going to need to be pulling off some milk runs. Um, there's the Nodachi. Restricted actuators, left, lower. That's fine. I'm really interested to see melee-wise what this guy's got going on. But I think we can transfer everything from the Wolverine straight to this guy. 76,000 is like a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. But that's fine. Headhunting part three. So I was no more. Uh, flat jackals have scattered four winds. All right. Lost tech. Let's see. We got lots of lost tech. We don't need any more. All right. Let's see what they give us. Here comes the dice roll. Good. Chang. A double heat sink. Medium pulse later. AC 10 double plus. LRM 10 double plus. Large laser double plus. Urban mech. Do we get a full urban mech, or is that... No, that's a part. <laughs> urban mech and a commando part. Are you serious? And a million C bills. Okay, well, we make our financial report. Okay, I am going to have to go after the Federated Sons after this, because they kind of like us, but we need to go and steal some shit from them, because that's just an insult. To all the work we did. I mean, we did pick up a couple of mechs, okay, so I should be upset about that. We got a catapult. Ah, we got an axe, man. We got a Nodachi, so I guess I shouldn't complain. Alright. Urban mech. We got another urban mech. <laughs> sure. And we got a Commando 1C. Wait, did, did they give us full the full mech? Or do we just somehow luckily complete these guys? Uh, we don't need them. Just going to scrap. There's the Irby. Scrap. There's the Commando. Scrap. And the Nodachi's already in our uh, inventory here. All right, we need the uh, we need another mech bay. Um, yeah, so that's the goal then. It's the in the, in the in between episodes. Look at this guy. In the in between episodes, the idea is to uh, well, we need to run two lances. So I have to decide who we're going to keep. The hunchback. Let's just put that away for now. We don't really need this guy out right now. We've got lots of other mechs we can be using. So let's put him away. Um, so that'll save a bit of space. Um, we should probably only keep 10 mechs out, so I'll have to decide which other one is going back. Wolverine will most likely stay, so maybe the Bushwhacker? I mean, it's, it always does okay. But with the Hatchetman, we got a melee mech here and a melee mech here, so one for each lance. The Wolverine... Um, is being repaired right now. So we'll have to just see. Maybe we do put this guy away. Because we have the two melee mechs here. I know this is like a lighter mech than this guy. But it does have the bonus hatchet in the arm, right? The same with this guy. It's got the hatchet. Let's have a look here. So this is going to require a lot of work to get this guy up and running. Um... And a lot of C-bills. Well, not that bad, 225. So he's got a sword in the arm. Plus 55 melee damage. So that works as the arm actuator. Got triple strength Myanmar's, which are bonus. Didn't keep the engine, unfortunately. 
These guys can come off. These guys can come off. Um, yeah, let's confirm this. Then let's have a look at the Axemen. We've got enough mechs coming back from repairs to be able to go and pull some missions off. We're only be taking like one and a half, two skull missions, something with around a million C-bill payout. So I'm interested to see if we move every, like we're hitting 165 melee damage with the Wolverine. By the way, thank you, uh, Fists of Dorn, for setting me straight on that. That uh, The difference of 42 damage was huge. Like, I mean, it was a, hu a huge difference, right? Or 41, whatever it ended up being, that we added by just putting things in a proper order. Uh, so that's a big, it's a huge difference. Um, so you guys, check out episode uh, 98 of um, Rogue Tech Cold Forge. If you're putting together a melee mech, it'll give you a good layout of how you should do it. it makes a big difference. Um, so now let's have a look. So let's do this. So it does come with a hatchet in the arm, plus 60 melee damage. So it's a little more. We kept the engine, that's good. But I wanna bump this one up. 200 kilometers an hour is not very fast. Uh, we've got the weight definitely to do that. This should be around like a 260 probably. 240 engine maybe, I don't know, 250, something that's gonna be really fast. Um, only problem is we don't really have a lot of engines. We've got a handful, right? But not a lot. Like we could probably drop the 250 in this guy eventually, right? And still have enough tonnage. That's going to change the speed to 255 kilometers from what, 200 was it? I think it was 200. Yeah. So 55 kilometers more. We need to get more masks. That's what we need. Mask at the very at, at the very least a supercharger or something. Um, but this is 262,011 days. Let's confirm this. We still need to max out the armor too. So confirm. So I think what I'll do um, is I'll find a planet that's going to give us some milk run episodes. I don't know. It, I don't know. I, I always find like doing an episode on milk runs is kind of really boring, right? So maybe we don't do that. Let's get the mule near back. Um, let's get the no dachi back right after the Wolverine. And the Hatchetman can stay at the end. Catapult can still... St Hatchetman before Catapult, I think. Um, Orion is short period, so we can get these guys back in 15 total days. Have the Orion and the Mjolnir for fighting. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, sorry, I'm thinking out loud here. So if we do some milk runs, I don't know if, how you guys feel about me doing milk run episodes. I know I've mentioned it in the past and someone said maybe just do highlights, but it adds a lot more editing time and I would rather spend more time playing the game than editing. Right now I've got editing down to a science. I can cut an episode in like five or ten minutes. Not even that if I'm if I got a bunch of them to do. Um, I've done it all my life, so editing is pretty simple for me. So just doing basic edits, just cutting this and getting them out is simple. But if I have to go and do like flashbacks and all that kind of stuff, it just add the time adds up and I just don't have that time to do that, unfortunately. So maybe just make a mention in the comment section down below. Until now I'll like like I'll keep going on doing them off camera. I gotta do them anyway. Like I'll be doing probably this one, capture base mission, two skulls, go for full, uh almost full cell, which probably like one 1.5 or 1.4, whatever this ends up being at, at uh, minimum salvage almost. And go 3 out of 4 for uh, funds, which will be around a million C bills. That's kind of what I've been doing, just in case there's something interesting that we can pick up. But I've been doing, like, like this will go for full, uh, full C bills. But I've been pulling these kind of missions off, using like the meal near and stuff, and just blasting through all the opposition and just collecting the money. Um... We probably have a few things we can sell, but nothing that's going to give us the funds to really refit our mechs. We've got that light engine we want to put in. We have a Clan XL engine we want to put in, and that's like a million C-bills, right? If we want to put the uh, 
Klein XL in the Nodachi, let's say, or even the light engine in the Nodachi. Um, probably put the Klein XL in the um, the Mjolnir, but um, that's going to cost like a million C bills right there just to put the light engine in. So that's like you know at least one of these missions plus another one of these missions to be able to fix it up and get it ready to go. So that's like a whole episode just to get the Nodachi running, and then we have to wait for it to come back from repairs, right? Which is why I like to do these off camera, and then we can just, you know, get it done and get into the fighting. So, yeah, and so for now I'll do these off camera, because um, I can just whip through them really quick, quick, and I don't have to think about talking, and, and there's nothing really to explain. Everyone has to do milk runs at some point in time or another, um, unless you're always doing split salvage, and then you probably don't, but split salvage is always like iffy. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave the episode there. If you liked it, drop a like. If you enjoyed that uh, um, Flashpoint, um, yeah, put, it, put a mention in the comment section down below what you think of it. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.